Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, you are going to see pre-chop of the nucleus by Neto Chopper. Dr. Neto Rosatelli is a very respectable name in ophthalmic world. He is in Brazil and is a very high volume surgeon. He uses a chopper which is long and round bodied and there's a ball at the tip of the chopper. This is a round bodied blunt thing. This is a soft cataract, nuclear sclerosis is about grade 2. We have made the incisions and now we are going to do capsular excess. Uh, Utrota forceps is being used to do the excess. And this movement I have learned from Dr. Neto. Rexis is done and now hydro dissection. The fluid goes to the other side, nucleus is tapped and rotated. The AC is again filled up with visco. And now we are going to divide the nucleus by a pre-chopper and neto chopper. This neto chopper is being used as nucleus sustainer to support the nucleus. It's a long chopper about 2.25 millimeter long. We have divided the nucleus into two heminuclei and one heminuclei has been subdivided into two fragments. And now we are going to introduce the handpiece. The handpiece goes bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is removed. Immediately one piece comes to the tip. And then get the other fragment. No, the other fragment didn't come. We're going to divide the other heminucleus. The pieces are coming. Yes, two more fragments still there. This, uh, these two pieces are not complete. Yes, now it is separate. And finally, the last piece comes. This NATO chopper is a long instrument and new surgeons will feel this is cumbersome. It is, I was thinking the same. But if we use this, this is the advantage. We can protect the posterior capsule by the ball uh, and I can keep the posterior capsule away from the aspirating port of the FECO tip, FECO needle. There is a small bit of cortex on two sides at around 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock, but we can remove that after implanting the intraocular lens. So this is hydroimplantation of the intraocular lens. This is a single piece hydrophilic intraocular lens. The lens goes in the capsular bag and now we take the now we take the irrigation and aspiration and the remaining cortex is removed. Advantage of this technique is the lens itself protects the posterior capsule. As you try to hold the cortex, the posterior capsule is kept away by the intraocular lens itself. This is a bit of moxie. The side port is nicely closed. 
by hydrating corneal stroma and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and anterior chamber is nicely formed the integrity of the wounds is then checked and then we conclude the case thank you very much for your attention